All right, what's up guys? It's your homeboy, Mr. Schiff. Today, you've probably seen this in physics, but we're talking about distance, speed, and time. So it's your homework. I want you to take notes, show them to me. I'll get full credit for your homework. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow with any questions you have. We'll look at some more problems. All right, so let's jump into it. Before we even talk about a formula, let's think about this logically. What we have is Mr. Schiff, that's me, your homeboy, runs eight kilometers per hour for three hours. How far will he run? So let's think about this. We have eight kilometers per hour. That's obviously a speed. For three hours, that's going to be our time. And how far the question mark goes with the distance will he run? So you can probably pretty logically say, if I'm running an average of eight kilometers per, per hour, for three hours, I'm running a total of 24. And again, you can think about it very logically. Eight kilometers after the first hour, 16 after the second, 24 after the third. However, as this stands right now, would not be full credit. What I always need, and as it goes with all of the problems we've been doing, is for you to give me a unit. 24 what? It's not 24 hours, it's not 24 miles or meters, we're talking 24 kilometers. So again, I will mark off on a test or on a quiz for not including your units. Super important. Alright, so what this all means is we have our formulas. We use this distance triangle and what you see is here distance is highlighted in orange and it tells you that distance equals speed which is next to time so speed multiplied by time. Time, however, when it's highlighted has distance over speed. So we're going to say time equals distance d divided by speed. And speed also has distance on the numerator. So we're going to say speed equals distance divided by time. Again, take, pause this, write down the formulas. We're always going to include our units. And if you remember this little triangle, and if you think about it, what we're doing here is distance, right? D I N S. And if you spell out the first letter of all of these, D equals S times T. If you almost say that really quick, sounds like distance. So just a few ways to remember it, either the triangle or to think distance equals speed times time, DST, dist. All right, next up a few more problems and we'll use those formulas. Car travels from Lugano to Milan, which is 60 kilometers away. So 60 kilometers obviously is our distance. In 30 minutes, minutes is going to be our time. What's the average speed? A few ways to calculate this. So we could say, look back, speed equals distance over time. So here we're going to say the speed is going to be 60 divided by 30. However, when we think about this, what we have is 60 kilometers, and 30 is going to be minutes. And what we actually get is this weird unit at the end. 60 by 30 is going to give us 2. But what we get is kilometers per minute. Now, I don't know about you guys. I've never seen a car or a policeman who has told you your speed in kilometers per minute. Normally, they're talking what? Talking kilometers per hour. So what we could do is the same thing. 60 kilometers in 30 minutes, which we could say is half an hour, right? Let's write 0.5 down here. So that our units are in something a little bit more recognizable, we could say 60 divided by 0.5, that's going to give us 120. Sorry about that. Kilometers per hour. Again, you put your units every single time. Cool. So what we have here is either 2 kilometers per minute, technically it's correct, or 120 kilometers per hour, again something a little bit more recognizable. Our last problem. We have a bro, and he cycles 20 kilometers an hour for 40 kilometers. So here, 
what we're going to have, sorry about that, is we have our 20 kilometers an hour. That's going to be our speed for 40 kilometers. It's going to be our distance. So he goes one way, 20 kilometers per hour for 40 kilometers. So dis time equals distance divided by speed. That's going to be a total of two hours. He returns. So he goes another 40 kilometers, this time at a slower speed. He's a little tired, by 15 kilometers per hour. And if we divide that, what we get is 2.66 which is going to be two hours, 0.66, two-thirds of an hour, is going to be two hours, 40 minutes. So we calculate his time it takes to get there, and then he's traveling the same distance, so his time to get back. So how long is this bro cycling for? Four hours, 40 minutes. All right, guys, so that about concludes it. Just a little sum to get you thinking about distance being time. Again, I know this might be review. The key things are remember the formulas, remember the triangle, remember to always put your units at the end, and you should be golden. All right, peace out, homies. I'll see you early this week. Have a nice night. Ciao.